I'm meteorologist Chris Holcomb from the 11 Alive Storm Trackers, keeping a close eye on the tropics. I want to take you down to the Southern Caribbean first because this is where we have tropical depression now, Karen. It was a tropical storm, but it's a very or poorly organized system. It is in the central uh, Caribbean right here. It's even kind of hard to kind of pick out a central area of, of uh, circulation there. It is still going to be moving closer to Puerto Rico and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. And even though it's a depression, they're holding on to tropical storms warnings for Puerto Rico and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Now the forecast track is keeping this as a depression as it moves through. They will have some rain and wind. It looks like it's going to regain tropical storm strength as we get into uh, the middle of the week and then we're still waiting and watching to see if it's going to make that left hand turn potentially moving back toward the United States. We'll have to keep a close eye on that but even if it did that it wouldn't be well into next week before that happened. We're also continuing continuing to watch those spaghetti models that also show that curve. And I know these spaghetti models are looking kind of wild here, uh, but you can see that they're having a hard time initializing on this storm and when and if it is going to take that left turn. So that's why we have to keep watching that system. Here is Tropical Storm Jerry. It looks like it will maintain Tropical Storm strength coming close to Bermuda uh, for Wednesday and then moving on out to sea and maintaining that Tropical Storm strength. Now, Lorenzo is the one that's getting stronger and this one has more of a potential to become a hurricane. Maximum sustained winds are at 45 miles an hour. We expect it will become a hurricane though during the day, uh, late Tuesday into Wednesday. Potentially, look at this, a category three storm, major hurricane possible by Saturday afternoon out in the central Atlantic. We will also continue to watch these spaghetti models as well. As you can see the system right now, most of those are keeping this out into sea. But of course, we'll keep a close eye on that as the system continues to develop. Watch 11 Alive News for more updates on anything going on in the tropics as well as uh, on Facebook and on Twitter and on 11alive.com.